Welcome back, everyone, to its last call. Last call with the alcohol only on the Last Call YouTube channel. Now, joining me here on location, uh, this man, once again, is going to be, well, he's he's basically going to be in the best of both worlds. He'll be fighting for the title, and, well, he'll possibly, dare I say, also, second honeymoon for him and the missus. <laughs> I do it all on, on April 24th. I'll give you, once again, uh, Undefeated Bell Tour Bantamweight Sensation. I give you Rafion Stotts. Uh, Rafion, you, Sergio Pettis, first round of a Grand Prix tournament for the Bantamweight World title. Is this what you wanted, or is, is there a part of you that's like, well, I wish this was the main, the main of the whole Grand Prix? I wish we had more time. Um, you know, it's definitely a bittersweet, especially in the beginning. It was more bitter than sweet, but I had to like wrap my head around, you know, uh, fighting my brother pretty much. Uh, in Sergio Pettis. So yeah, it was, it's definitely bittersweet, but um, you know, uh business is business, I guess, you know, and this is the game we uh play and we we unfortunately have trained each other to be the best in the world and and now we just got to <laughs> figure out uh, which one of us is it. So So let's talk about that first. It's you versus Pettis. And yeah. how tough is it is it where he's your he's basically he's your brother but he's with uh, not what? The two of you have been training for years, and I know I'm, I'm guessing you guys have helped each other out financially at times. You know, looked after each other's kids. How tough is that now? Going okay, I gotta beat the crap out of you, but at the same time, it's like oh crap, this is my brother. You know, I don't want to hurt, hurt him, but I gotta hurt him. Yeah, um, you know, uh, it's, it's just it's rough. It's rough to uh, wrap your head around. You know. I feel like uh, at the base of it, I got to realize, you know, uh, he, he's he got a family to feed. Um, I got a family to feed. Um, you know, when it comes down to it, um, I, it's unfair uh, for my family to, um, you know, put put my friend friendship over their well-being. Um, you know, so um, like at the root of it, that's what it comes down to. But yeah, it's going to be hard to, like, uh, you know, want to have bad intentions uh, in this fight, you know. Um, but, again, you know, uh, you know, it's, 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 we got to we gotta take each other out and we got to give each other our best, you know. Um, I respect Sergio, you know, more than, you know, a lot of people. Um, and, um, and he does the same to me, you know. So anytime we're in training, you know, we're not uh, – we're, we're holding each other accountable. And we're gonna have to do the same thing um, when we fight because we're both dangerous. Uh, we're both uh, the best in the world, so um, we can't take it easy on each other because you know, uh, if we do, you know, one of us could get hurt. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's 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 a crazy thing. I feel like to wrap your head around, and I gotta like go to like uh, different places than I'd have than I'd had to go mentally. Um, you know, just because even when I, the fight got announced, you know, and it was like a couple weeks in or a weekend and I'm having to like study film on Sergio. Um, I'm like, when I, when I first was looking at the film, I'm like rooting for Sergio, you know, uh, which I always, you know, uh, no matter if we fight or not, you know, I'm always, I'm never going to be like, I'm never going to hate Sergio. Sergio is always going to be, you know, uh, that guy, you know, um, that I, you know, I like him. I love him. You know, he's, he's a good dude, but, um, yeah, I was looking like for holes in his game and, and stuff like that, you know, it's just different, you know, just different. How tough is that for the rest of the gym? Because you're now training part-time at the street tour. You're training out in Houston. Yeah. I'm guessing there are guys that you want to bring down to Houston from, you know, Rufus Sport. And, and you know, and how tough is that figure out, okay, well, who gets, you know, Anthony, I'm guessing, is going to Sergio. I'm guessing that uh, Duke is basically going to keep a, a side from all this. We try as much as possible. Who gets, you know, Gerald Mershert? Who gets, uh, you know, the, the other trainees? Like, how tough was that figuring out, okay, who can I go to? And who's like Sergio's guy? Yeah, so um, when I uh, when I found out about it, um, I called Sergio, you know, uh, and then we talked, you know, and we were like, damn, this is bullshit, you know. Uh, but, you know, we got to do what we got to do. You know, it's just business and um, we're, we're both in the tournament. We knew this was going to come eventually. We didn't think it was going to come this fast, but, you know, we're both professionals and we're both, you know, uh, ready to take on the task. Um, so I was like, um, I was like, hey, Serge, I'll give you kind of free reign because Sergio has been at Roof Sport longer than me, even though I've been there since I've been a pro for like six, seven years. He's been there longer. Uh, so I gave him 
uh, pretty much reign on like how he wanted to go about it. Like if he wanted to me to still train there and, and do things uh, separately or together, it didn't matter to me. Um, and yeah, so he said, um, or I gave him the option to uh, pretty much have get have some space for this camp, you know, so you can get dialed in, you know, uh, we're not like seeing each other, you know, if you need to get to a headspace. And he said he, he would like uh, some space, you know, and um, I have moved to Houston in August after my last fight. And so um, I was already doing like majority of my training in um, in Houston, and I was just going to plan to like for camp, go back to Rufus Sport. Uh, but since that happened, I'll just do uh, this camp uh, for now at uh, Extreme Couture in Vegas. Um, so uh, for coaches, like he's all the coaches will be on uh, his team and the teammates there, you know, will be um, like helping him. And I in no way or no shape or form or like um, – and salty or anything about that you know uh it's just a part of business you know um I have to take I have to uh, take a new team you know um then I gotta do what's best for me uh same thing for Sergio same thing for the coaches you know um and past training partners I don't feel like it's like a like a rivalry like a pick sides thing it's like um you know Sergio has a task like if, if you're around Sergio please help him to do his task you know I'm going to go somewhere. So the people around me are going to help me do my task and uh, we'll figure it out in the cage. So how is it going to be working for you for this fight? Because you said you split your time with Houston, you split your time with Extreme Couture. Who, gonna, who will be the coaches in your corner for this fight? Like when you go to cage side on April 23rd in Hawaii, like who are going to be the three people that you're bringing to help sort of figure out the fight on the fly while you're just fighting? Yeah, so as of now, I don't necessarily have a uh, corner. Um, I'm. I need to ask. I should ask uh, Eric Nixick. I'm Eric Nixick said he's available to uh, go with me. So I'm. I'm for sure. I think taking him. Um, and then I gotta find like maybe two other people that uh maybe I click with or maybe you know uh I can use as uh, training partners during um. Yeah. Uh. So I don't. I don't know the last two. Bilal Muhammad and uh Jared uh. Jared Gordon uh, offered on Twitter to uh, be my corner so they can get a trip to Hawaii. But, um, yeah, I, I got to figure that out still. So I got to ask, as soon as you heard the words Hawaii, I'm guessing the missus said, second honeymoon, baby, yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting the keys out here. And it's like, no, honey, I got to work. Second honeymoon. I'm like, no, honey, I'm let's go. Second honeymoon. Like, who else is jumping in? Like, this mom, dad, uh, you know, from, from her side, you know, are your brothers, other – you know, siblings. How many people going? Rafion. Yeah. So, um, no. I got family here. I got some family here. I think. Uh, I want to call them kind of like my adopted mom and dad. Uh, they kind of uh, took me in when my uh when my mom passed. Um, you know, and they're just like really good friends. Uh, the shoulders. I think they're going out. Um, my my sister or my sister in law and her husband are coming out. My kids and my wife. You know, they're coming out. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's going to be a party. It's going to be fun. It's a lot of people actually that I know, you know, a lot of people hitting me up saying they want to come out to the fight. So, um, yeah, it should be a fun time. You know, uh, the last time I went was amazing. We went with my mother-in-law and, uh, my, uh, my son now, man, my son will be in Hawaii two times. He's only, he's about to be four. He's about to be in Hawaii like twice in his life. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think that's what was all going out for now. You mentioned, go back to Christian Couture. How tough is that right now, this camp, where they're dealing with the passing of Tim Lane? And you know it's like losing somebody very close. You lost your mother. Uh, but Tim Lane passed away with them. And I, I know we're talking with some of those guys. They're just dealing with it. How tough was that, you know, dealing with all this, where you're trying to focus on a fight. You know that other guys are hurting there. Yet it's for you. I got to focus on business. I know you guys are hurt. I know this, this guy was your family. But I got to focus on business. How tough was that separating everything trying to be respectful but trying to be like hey i still need to focus on this fight yeah um for me you know i just kind of stay in my lane you know um if if someone can help me or wants to help me you know i give them free reign to do that i'm always open um but i, I don't try to take too much you know especially for people going through grief um actually the coach that um so i moved to houston coach saul solace uh for team metro he passed um like while i'm here or while I want to say the first week or so I moved to um to Houston. So the team that I'm with in Houston uh is currently, you know, going through a, a coaching change and um yeah, so like I know a lot of them are dealing with uh you know, a loss and not the 
depression, but you know, uh, like emptiness. You know what I mean? Just uh, missing out on the the coach. You know, and um, you know, and I, I'm I'm available to talk. You know, I've talked to a couple of them. You know, about you know what's all meant to them. You know, I have heard some really good stories. Some really, you know. So I'm 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 here to listen. I'm here to you know help. Uh, but at the at the end of the day, um, you know, I just try to stay in my lane. I try not to ask too much to anybody. You know, um. Uh, but if, if, if anybody is uh, willing to help, you know, I'm, I'm more than willing to, you know, take it. Let's focus on the fight itself. Uh, how do you beat Sergio? I mean, how do you how do you beat somebody who knows what you're going to do and you know what he's going to do? And it's almost like, oh, crap. How the hell are we going to try and pull something, you know, but he doesn't know what I'm going to do, but he doesn't know what I'm going to do. I mean, how tough is it literally fighting somebody who knows everything about you as a fighter and vice versa? Man, Sergio is like so good. I know the one thing I can't do is underestimate him. Um, I, you, you probably is good, or you, you could probably tell me better than I could tell. I don't know how the fight's gonna go. Um, you know, I got things that I, you know, would like to do. You know, obviously he's a he's a better striker than me. I'm a better wrestler than, me, than him, but he's also gotten really good at striking, and I've gotten really good at, or he's also gotten really good at wrestling, and I've also gotten really good at striking. So. Um, and the one thing Sergio does is makes good adjustments. You know, he's a smart, he's a, he's, he's a seasoned vet, you know what I mean? So, um, so it's, it's not a clear cut way of beating him, you know, um, he's good everywhere. You know, he's, uh, he's tough, he's gritty, he trains hard. And I know that, uh, from firsthand experience. So, um, it's just going to be tough. You know, we just gonna have to grit it out. Like this is literally the, you know, a uh, fight for the ages and a fight for the, the best in the world. So, uh, it's, it's going to be tough. How much does it mean to you that this is the main event, though? That you know, even over at Cyborg and Blenko, that even though everything's going on here, you have Leo May McFarlane, who's basically the, the Hawaii darling of this whole uh, Bell Tour. It's still you and Pettis. How much does that mean to you, knowing that they're putting you two on you? Doesn't matter that you're not, you know, a native's daughter. Doesn't matter that you're, you know, this, you know, but you guys are still young compared to Cyborg. It's still your show. It's you and Pettis, main event of this. So far, stacked card right now. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? It's just, um, that's like one of the moments where it's like, man, I should stop and appreciate, you know, where I'm at. Like, I'm, I'm headlining a car, you know, with Chris Cyborg, somebody I've been watching forever. Uh, I, when I fought, uh, I fought on um, McFarland's uh, undercard, my first Bellator fight. So, um, you know, this is, this is huge, you know. Uh, I feel like I... No, I was gonna say I got to get back in the right hand space. Like this is an amazing opportunity. Um, you know, first I was like bitter about like having to fight Sergio, but I got to get over that. You know, uh, if I want to be successful, I got to get over that, and I got to realize this is like a huge. This is my first title. You know, uh, chance at uh, challenging for the belt. You know, this is the first main event. You know, um, this is huge. This is huge, huge for my career, and my family. Uh, it's, it means a lot to be in Hawaii. You know, that's. That says a lot about, you know, what they see, you know, in us, you know, um, in our prospects and our, you know, how, how they view our, um, you know, trajectory. So, so it, it's huge. <clears throat> well, that's the question I'll let you go. I, how much is the family enjoying this more than you, it seems like? Because they've seen the whole road. They've seen what you've gone through, you know, fighting, you know, through the passing of your mother, going through fights where you're not making much money, you know, you know, but I'm guessing Matt Burns, cauliflower year times, uh, your body racked at times because, hey, this fight was very sore. The Magomedov fight, you know, you're getting stretched in different places. Or this fight here where you're last minute notice. How, how excited are they that, you know, they're, they're, you're, they're, you're the husband, the brother, even, as you said, you're this adopted son, is fight on the main card. Hawaii, world title, yeah. main event. Yeah. And... They get to be see all this. I mean, it seems like the whole family's making this trip out to Hawaii. How excited are they about to see that you're basically one step away from your goal, becoming world? Yeah, champion? it's just it's like super. Uh, it's just a super good feeling that I get, you know, because they see a lot of the hard work, you know, and um, you know, it's for a reason because that's the other thing. My family has put a lot of sacrifice in, you know, too. Um, you know, uh, even now when I go off to camp, you know, my wife has to be a single mother of two crazy kids my kids are crazy <laughs> but um yeah so like she sacrifices a lot you know she works full time uh, as a teacher you know and then she a lot of times I'm having to train you know so I'll keep the kids all in the morning or whatever and then she'll have to 
get it out at night, you know, and do some nighttime routines if I have to, you know, uh, work work out late or, or stuff like that. So um, I feel like um, more than anything, like for them, this is like, um, uh, okay, man, I'm, uh, I'm doing right because, um, you know, they put a lot of life for me, you know, so I'm able to give, you know, uh, I can show some proof of, you know, this is this is why, you know, I'm, I'm having to stay later. This is why, you know, uh, I can't make, you know, some events or I have to train hard every day, you know. Um, so it's, it's, it's satisfying in that respect. What happens if you win? And I know you're thinking about this here, but there's a lot of complications. I don't mean by just, you know, the friendship. It's you go back to you go back to root, the root of sport. Well, they take you back in here. I mean, it. The fans think it's simple. It's like, oh yeah, you go, you win. You know, yeah. winner buys the stakes, the beers here. You and Sergio have talked about this. I know you said, oh, it's going to be business, but what happens if the student beats the master? If you go back home to Milwaukee and you walk in there, I mean, have you guys talked about what happens if, all right, hey, if I win, can I go back to Rupert Sport? I, or is this going to be one of those things where it's like, once you're off the reservation, you're off the reservation. <laughs> Yeah, for me, um, I mean, I'm still a, I feel like I'm a Rufus Sports fighter. Um, everything that I've done to this point, you know, is, um, is, is, is the Rufus Sport way. Uh, so I'm, the Rufus Sport will always be my home. Um, I feel like, um, you know, uh, I have like, uh, you know, I, I've been learning other things and other ways of doing things, you know, um, and I don't feel like uh, this fight is necessarily going to be like a, a, a this or like me against Duke Rufus, you know what I mean? Because Duke Rufus has put a lot into me. You know, Scott Cushman has put a lot into me. A majority of what I know now or what I'm doing is there. I say it a lot. Uh, people don't realize, like me and Sergio, we we fight a lot alike. We're from the same camp. We know a lot of the same things. Uh, the only difference is my base was in uh, wrestling. His base was in Taekwondo. But we still are doing everything, you know what I mean? Uh, we just have... Uh, uh, different backgrounds. Um, so uh, the, the this and that's why I say it's like it's like fighting my it's, this fight is going to be like fighting myself, fighting myself. Uh, that's a better kickboxer. Um, so um, yeah, so it, uh, it's definitely going to be a, a kind of a thing where I'm gonna go back to uh, Rufus Sport. You know, um, even if you know this camp goes well, I'm I'll, I'll visit and I'll do other things. You know, but uh, Rufus Sport has a uh, has built me. So I feel super loyal to them. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that's going to be uh, April 23rd, only in Hawaii. This man's playing to take the division over and win the title. I guess do it against family, but hey, that's the way this business is. I give you it's, uh, once again, undefeated sensation. I give you Rafi on stop. So, uh, Rafi, before I let you go, where can fans check you out at? Where is, you know, the Twitter page, Instagram, the website? Who are the sponsors going to be for this fight coming up? Yeah, um, so you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Rafian Stats, uh, one word. Uh, you can also check me out on Facebook, Rafian Stats, two words. Um, I like to thank the sponsors of uh, Zero Shoes, uh, Invincible Watches, Perfect Sports, um, Fresh and Lean, um, Twin J, and um, yeah, uh, Combat Corner also. So uh, thank you guys. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Players been on mine. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Rafion Stotts. Uh, always a pleasure to have on the show. We come back. Stay tuned for more great action coming up only on its last call. Last call with the alcohol only on the last call YouTube channel. <laughs>